Pharmaceutical company Mallinckrodt won court approval to settle opioid-related liabilities for about $1.7 billion. It's also going to be exiting a 16-month-long bankruptcy. The plan allows the company to reduce $5.3 billion in debt and hands control to creditors. The Dublin Blaze company does need approval from Irish authorities before its Chapter 11 plan can go into effect. The WNBA completed its first ever capital raise, which brought in $75 million. Investors, including Nike, former U.S. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice, and Dell CEO Michael Dell, among many others. The league called the funding round the largest ever capital raise for women's sports. The WNBA is now valued at a billion dollars, and the team's 26th season is going to begin in May. And Southwest Airlines will resume selling alcohol on flights after more than two years, starting on February 16th. The airline paused alcohol sales in March of 2020, the beginning of the pandemic. The decision to resume is facing pushback from the Flight Attendants Union, which called the move, quote, unsafe and irresponsible. The union has been arguing that alcohol consumption will increase the amount of time passengers are not wearing their masks. American Airlines and Alaska Airlines resumed alcohol sales earlier this year. They've seen similar pushback from the union. There is also concern about aggressive behavior by some individuals on flights, which has seen also a big increase.